Hi. You're here for your interview, right? Great. Okay. Let me just finish sending out this email. Yep. How's your day? Can I get you any water or anything? No? Okay. Alright. One sec. Okay. Perfect. Alright. I can give you my full attention now. So, um... And get my clipboard out so I can take some notes here quickly. Okay. So, remind me your name. Okay. And last name? Great. Okay. Alright. So, I'm your age. Good. Okay. Alright. So, hi. My name is Jasmine. Um, let me tell you a little bit about what I am looking for first before we jump into your interview and figure out if you're going to be um, the perfect asset to my team. Does that sound good? Right. Cool. So, um, essentially, I work from home, and especially with all this stuff going on, um, now, if anything, I'm busier. More people are also home and meaning they are um, spending more time online, they are on the blog more, they are intaking just more content and shopping more. Um, and so it's very important to me that I really double down on this time and get some of the, the assistance that I need to help me run a um, successful company, okay? So, you do have the option to <clears throat> work remotely. You do not have to come here and work. Um, in fact, right now, I would say it is preferable for you to work from home. I will give you all of the supplies that you need. Um, so, first things first, I guess I should ask, uh, what experience do you have um, assisting with um, multimedia marketing or um, marketing in general, personal assistant work such as, you know, more, more secretary skills, handling emails, taking phone calls, um, any customer service issues, maybe even running social media pages. Does any of that kind of ring a bell or not ring a bell? Does it sound um, like something you've done in the past? I don't think you sent in a resume. Oh, you did. Oh, I apologize. Okay, let's see. Let me look you up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, so you've, you've actually, uh, you've, you've assisted for Delaney. Okay. Yes, I am, I do not know Delaney, but she is a, she is very talented. Okay, so how long, how long did you do that? And what were some of the tasks? Okay, so you did it for four years. Was it full-time, part-time, part-time? Okay, and some of the tasks? So, yeah, you actually sound um, pretty experienced for this position. That's really good. Um, and if I wanted to call Delaney for a reference, would I be able to? Okay. All right, good. All right, do you have um, a portfolio of any socials or anything that you've done in the past? If you didn't bring it today, that's okay. I know I wasn't very clear. Um, in my post of what I would want you to bring, so no problem. Um, should we decide to move forward, can you just do me a favor, bring, bring that in for me, digital or, or hand, um, digital or a physical copy should be fine. I'm sorry, my brain is a little fried today, I've just been working through the roof. All right, good. So now let's uh, let's get a little bit into into you. We have we have some of the work history, and honestly, you having assisted for Delaney is uh, 
really, I mean, that's, that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get in my book. Yeah. Um, so, why are you passionate about, about this field? Is it something that you are hoping to dive into yourself one day? Um, are you more concerned with, you know, customer service and really helping people? What would you say your passion is when it comes to this? You do want to get into this Like the stuff that myself and Delaney do Great Yeah Well look, I can promise you um, Should this work out I am more than happy To offer um, any knowledge And skills that I have acquired Over the years to help you I have often time Given my assistance um, Previous you know, electronics, gadgets that I've used to make better content, um, any ebook subscriptions that I've had, any e-courses I've taken. So I am very much so about helping you uh, get to where you want to get to, because obviously, for most people, um, being an assistant is not the end game, which is why I asked you that. Um, it's actually very important that whoever works for me is ambitious, because I feel that ambitious people are going to put the most effort in and put their best foot forward and I think that that's what's most important. I want to know that when you're not working for me, you're home working for yourself to get to where you want to get to. And like I said, I am more than happy to offer as many supplies as I have to help you get there. So, do you have any uh, university experience? two years trade school what did you do? cosmetology interesting and what made you decide to not continue? sure, of course you just weren't passionate that is more than enough reason so I don't actually uh, it's not a big deal to me whether or not you have been to college or not um it can be nice when someone has majored in marketing or business or business management, social media management, any of those categories, but um, it's actually really not necessary. I did not go to college myself, so I feel that it's not actually mandatory to be successful. It can be a really great thing, but it is not mandatory, so that's great. And did you work at any any salons after, or did you go to school and sort of just write it off? Okay, you did. And what salon was that? Great. How long were you there? Okay. And what were what were your, some of your tasks? Guys, right? Um, donor. Okay. Uh, did you do any reception duties at all? Reception. Okay. Good. How about restocking? Okay. Did they handle any shipments or everything was consumer based, bought in store? Okay. No shipments. Uh, one of the things that is very important about this position is organization and tidiness. Um, I love files to be in their specific home, whether it is a physical file in my home, or it is files and documents on my computer, on Google Drive, on Dropbox. I use them all, so get used to it. <laughs> I use them all for different reasons. Um, so, I also have a lot of Word documents, Excel files, number files. I do, I do use both a PC and a MacBook. Um, so I guess my first question would be, do you have a laptop or a computer at home? Okay, you do. Great. And is it a Mac or a PC? Okay, it's a PC. Not a problem. So you will most likely need to get a MacBook. Once again, not a problem. I have many stocked up in the back for occasions like this. Um, 
So we will get you a MacBook 13 inch space gray. We don't need maximum storage as I do like to work off of external storage systems. So I, te I tend to stick with a midi medium. So I tend to stick with a medium tier um, storage capacity, okay? Um, it is important to note that um, computers do need to be turned in if you do decide to leave the position. Um, if you would like to keep the computer, it's a $500 charge, nothing excessive, because um, it will have been used by the time that you bought it, and realistically I probably will not have the time to resell it. So. Um, and then if you flee with the computer, it's just not a good idea. Just don't, don't do that, and everything should be fine. <laughs> I haven't had anyone do it yet, but, you know, we like to be prepared around here. <clears throat> okay. since have you ever had or owned a MacBook in the past? You have. Okay. Next. And were you familiar with the kind of um, Microsoft competitors, numbers, pages, things like that through MacBook? Good. Oh, perfect. Okay. So like I said, I use PC and Mac, and I use both Word document and pages and notes and numbers and Excel. So, um, it's important that maybe you're not proficient, but you can at least get by uh, using both because it's it's not any crazy math calculations. It's typically creating graphs and charts um, for content planning and um, and any feature releases that I have when it comes to merchandise. Okay, good, great. All right, let's see. things down here. Do you have any writing experience? Of course, you, you run a blog, right? Okay, good. Alright, let's see. Would you mind if I brought it up? No pressure. I just like to get an idea of what your writing style is like. Um, any grammatical errors. I know it seems like a lot of pressure, uh, but this is not make or break, but if it is an option to have people um, help ghostwrite some blog articles, it is very useful. You're okay with that? Okay, good. I love that. You're proud of your work. Some people get very nervous. Okay, so what is it? Here it is. It's a beautiful layout. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it. So it appears that you actually have a similar niche to myself. Lifestyle. Yeah, your writing is great. However, um, however your writing style adapted, I mean, it fantastic. This, this page should be doing well. How is it performing? It's beginning to spike, yeah? That's good to hear. Yeah, this is, this is wonderful. Um, your writing very much so uh, captures people. Makes us want to read what you're going to say next. Oh, good. I'm, I'm happy I was able to flatter you. I, I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you definitely, um, you have a good talent. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Would you be open to any guest writing or ghost writing? The choice is yours. I do realize that you are running your own blog, so with that you might be less inclined to do guest writing and might want to stick to ghost writing to keep the attention on your blog. Totally up to you. Think about it. Think about it, but we'll put you down for both until you figure out what what might be 
best for you. Let's take some basic information down. Um, I know this is uh, typically what is done at the beginning, but I like to actually get the initial questions down first um, because I find that sometimes I take down all this information and I end up wasting time once the interview has started, uh, which sounds a bit harsh, but in my field, you have to be a bit nitpicky and if something doesn't feel right, things to do. It's 10.45. My day will not end until 10 o'clock p.m. So if I feel like an interview is not going right, I, uh, I let them know. But in a very kind way. I just, you know. But clearly we have made it this far. This is really good. I, I, I really have a good feeling about this. So we have your name. We have your age. Let's go ahead and jot down your phone. Okay. Okay. One, three, so. Okay, got it. And what is your address? Okay, and what city? that is important to mention. Um, I prefer that my assistants um, have a work phone and the reason for that is when you are clocked in you should only be using your work phone. I recognize that you most likely will set aside um, your tasks but when you are working from home I am paying you an hourly rate. It is $25 an hour and that time is very very important to me. So I would like you to treat this as a job where you are working on a sales floor or um, where you're standing right next to me. Um, the only times that you should be on your phone is during your breaks and your lunch breaks. Obviously, as I said, I have no way of monitoring this, but the closest way I can monitor is based on uh, your screen activity on both the phone and the computer. Yeah. Okay, so you should not log your personal number on there because you are going to be getting customer service calls, you are going to be getting business calls, which you will sit in on for note taking for me. Um, you'll be getting calls and text messages from myself. You may receive something um, from some of my other clients who, who need you to fulfill quick tasks, okay? I don't want to sound too harsh, it's just sort of the, the style of the position. Does that sound comfortable for you? Okay. Honesty is very important here, and, and I feel that with the, um, the benefits that you get with this position. Uh, again, I've never had any problems. I've always had really fantastic um, assistants who have really uh, followed the rules and, and really had some great success out of it. Yeah. Good. All right. So, get that. so we'll get the phone. or so. Um, do you have any experience with Shopify dropshipping, Amazon dropshipping, anything of that sort? No. Okay, so that will be an area that we could talk about training you in. Um, 
um, I do have an e-course available that I could send to your email should we move forward, okay? And so, we've briefly discussed pay, but 25 an hour, 40 hours a week is the current plan. You can choose to split this up in 10 hour work days. Um, which equates to four days a week, or you can split this up to eight to nine hours a week, or each day. So that, I'll leave it up to you. I will say I work five days a week. I used to be an everyday type of person, um, but I think five days a week is much better for my mental health. So, um, I can adjust my schedule on the one day that you wouldn't be available to assist. Um, I can stick to more simple tasks that will not overwhelm me, so take your time to really think about that. Um, I can say that I've had more people that have enjoyed the 10-hour workdays because then you get a three-day weekend. You can choose which three days in combination they will be, but preferably it would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Alright, well, okay. I think I have all the information that I need here. Um, thank you so much for coming in. I'm, I'm really looking forward to potentially having you join the team. I think you will be a wonderful asset. Um, I will give you a call to let you know for sure no later than 6 o'clock today. Is that fine? And I can just reach you at this number. Great. So, um, if I do move forward quickly after the phone call, you will receive, um, a 1099 and a W-2, depending on should I hire you on as a contractor or a, an employee, okay? The main difference is going to be with a W-2, you are going to have your taxes taken out of your paycheck, as opposed to being an independent contractor as an assistant. You will need to set aside, um, some of that portion of money to pay in your taxes. I think that hiring you on as an employee would be the better choice for you financially um, because once you file for taxes as a sole proprietor, you typically have to pay in 50% of your income. It's a lot, yeah. Whereas hiring you on, it's more around 30, 30%. Okay, good. All right, well, again, thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, I will let you know shortly, okay? Talk to you in a couple hours. Thanks so much. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay, you guys. That's gonna be it for this roleplay interviewing you video. This was one of my first videos that really did well on YouTube. It got well over 100,000 views. Very exciting stuff. So I decided to bring it back in a much quieter studio because in that video I could hear the buzz so much that I don't even know how that video managed to do as good as it did. So I thought I would bring back kind of a more professional, quiet, laid-back version. So 